Hey, we have another integral from MIT 2016, problem number 19. We have the integral of dx over one minus x plus x squared minus x cubed. And at first that denominator looks pretty tough because we can't, you know, if it was three terms, we're used to completing the square, but we have four terms here. What I want to do before I do anything, I think I just want to reverse the sign. I don't like the way they have this in reverse. It's just a personal preference because it'll work either way. But we'll pull a minus one out of this and just reverse the order. Now from here, what I want to notice, I could probably factor something. What if I factor an x squared out of that? If I take an x squared there, we're going to have x squared times x minus one. And we have an x minus one here. So we could write this like a one x minus one. And what that's going to do is the factor by grouping, and so we can rewrite this. I know I tend to avoid it, but this looks like a set of partial fractions. And I, in this case, it's actually not going to be too bad, so I think let's do it that way. To set up our partial fractions, we're going to have this unknown coefficient on our x minus 1, splitting up our x minus 1 or x squared plus 1. And then here, we're going to have our x squared plus 1. We're going to have a b. Now, when you have a square term, you need to go down one power, so we'll make we'll write this as bx plus c, and then we just need to solve for this a, b, and c. I'm going to just do this the long way. It's a little slower, but it's actually really easy to remember that we just want a common denominator here. So what I do is I'm going to multiply my a times x squared plus 1 to get this to be back to that. So we'll have a times x squared plus 1, and then we're going to have our bx plus c, and then if we want a common denominator here, we need to multiply by this x minus one term. Then I just need to multiply all this stuff out. Okay, now that we just distributed everything, notice I set the whole thing equal to one. That's because our denominator is one, right? When we're not gonna change the expression, we're gonna find a, b, and c such that we get one. Okay, so to do that, I'm just gonna do common terms. We have, if we look at our square terms, ax squared plus bx squared, that's got, that has to be zero because there's no x squared term here. So we're saying a plus b equals zero. Then let's look at our x terms. So this has to be zero because we put no x up here. So we're saying c minus b equals zero. And then last, we look at our constant terms, a minus c. That is actually going to be one because we just need the number to be one right there. And then what I can do is use this second equation and say that c must be equal to b if when we subtract them, they're zero. But that allows me to replace, I can do like a quick substitution. I can put a um, b in right there. So let's use our first equation, a plus b equals zero. And then our last equation, but with this substitution made, a minus b equals one. Add them together, 2a equals one. So a equals one half. Then from there, we could just use this first equation again. If a is 1 half, b has to be minus 1 half in order for it to be 0. But c equals b, so we have all three of our values. Then all we need to do is take all these values, plug them back in here, and then we can integrate. Okay, so now I've just plugged in all of our values for a, b, and c over here. Before we integrate, I'm going to do is pull out, we're going to pull out the half of front of the integrals. And then also, we can split this into three separate integrals. We have one integral here. We can split one with our half x, and then we can have the last one with the constant term. Okay, so nothing fancy here, pulling out the half, and then I distributed, you see we have plus signs here, because I distributed this minus inside to this minus, so that's why these two terms are positive. Now we have, this is gonna be an easy integral here. This is gonna be arc 10, so that's easy. This is, so this would be a u substitution. All we need here to have this be a really easy u substitution, I'm just gonna add a two here and then we'll multiply a half up front. And then we're perfectly set up to integrate all this stuff. So we're gonna have here for our first integral, we're gonna have minus a half, natural log, x minus one. Then here we're gonna have a one fourth up front. Again, this will be like a u, I'm not gonna, we'll just do this in our head. This will be like a u substitution here with this being du. And what that's gonna result in is ln x squared plus one actually don't need an absolute value because this is always positive. And then for our last integral here, we have one half. This is just arctan, so this is going to be inverse tangent x plus c. It's just a long, it's just three easy integrals that make a really long expression. That's MIT 2016, problem 19. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. 
Have a good day.